Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to start receiving Windows 10 Insider builds. So as many of you guys are aware, the Windows Insider program is available to basically any user who wants to try out new features in Windows before they're publicly rolled out in future Windows updates. Um, while you can get new feature access before most mainstream users would be able to, there does present an issue with bugs or potential errors and conflicts that could occur on your system. So make sure you're definitely not doing this on a productive machine and you're willing to accept the risk that you might have to restore Windows in order to put it back to a working state if you really mess up your computer by installing a corrupted build which I don't generally believe would happen, but you always should be in the realm of caution with any Windows updates, but especially if you're in the Insider program. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to get that set up. So we're gonna start by heading over to our Start button. Left click on Settings. Left click on the Update and Security tile. It should be the front page that comes up and this will say Windows Update at the top. Left click on Advanced Options down here, it should be in blue. And then when you put your mouse over it, it should turn to a light gray. You'll see there's a section that says Get Insider Preview Builds. Be one of the first to see future updates and improvements to Windows and provide feedback. What you want to do at this point is left click on Get Started. Please know two things. Number one, you have to have administrative privileges in order to perform this action. And number two, that once you set it up, you're going to be creating a Microsoft account and you're going to need to either create an account or sign into an existing one. And this will be how you log into your computer from here on out, unless you have a PIN key already set up or if you opt out of the program at some point. So, put that out of the way, uh, let's just jump into it. So it'll say, hey, are you an insider? At this point, if you have an account or do not have an account, it does not really matter. Uh, left click on sign in. And then it says choose an account. Left click on Microsoft account. It's the only option that's currently available as of this recording. So at this point, if you do not have a Microsoft account, you can left click on create one and then follow through the on-screen instructions in order to set it up. Otherwise, I actually do have a Microsoft account already set up. I'm going to insert my email and password at right now, and then once I'm done putting that into the dialog window, I will be back. Okay guys, so I've inserted my username and password, or I should really formally say email and password, and I'm gonna left click on sign in. Now, at this point, you have to enter your current computer password, so at that point, once you're done entering that, and also I should note if you do not have a password that you normally log in with or you don't have a password set up on your computer, which I really don't understand how someone could have it set up that way or why they would want it like that. But regardless, if you do not have a Windows password set up, you can just leave this box blank and then proceed to click on Next. So I just gotta give it a moment, it shouldn't take very long to run here. Okay, so now it'll say get insider preview builds. Be one of the first to see feature updates and improvements in Windows and provide feedback. Left click on next steps. Again, just be patient, it might take a moment to load here. So it'll say join the Windows Insider program. You will need a Microsoft account registered in the Windows Insider program to get Insider Preview Builds. Register this account or switch to one that is already registered. So I'm going to register my current account that I logged in this computer with. So I'm going to sign in here. So at this point, left click on Get Started on the main page here. So it'll say, please read the program agreement. Um, and then when you accept these, we can finish up your registration. I really should say that you should read through this. Um, since I've already looked through it, I'm going to go down to the bottom and then left click on, I accept the terms of this agreement. And then left click on submit. So at this point, you can actually close out of the browser here. 
If you left click on next step, again, back underneath the settings, we're going to see that we're going to get a notification saying you will be installing pre-release software and services that might not be fully tested. Continue only if you, number one, know your way around a PC and feel comfortable reinstalling Windows from scratch, which I stated before. Um, want to try a pre-release software and share your opinions about it. Don't mind frequent updates with significant changes, as well as on installing it on your everyday computer. I think we've hit most of these, if not all, these points at some point in this video. So we're going to proceed by left clicking on next. And then it says before you confirm, note that if you ever want to stop receiving insider preview builds, you may need to remove everything from your PC and reinstall Windows. So just keep that in the back of your mind when continuing on here. So then left click on confirm. And then one more step to go. Thank you for participating in the Windows Insider program. We need to restart your PC so you can get Insider Preview builds. So left click on Restart Now. And slow your computer restart. And once I'm restarted and logged back into my account, I will be right back. Hello everyone, I'm back from Restart. So the Insider program should be activated on our computer. So if we left click on the Start button, and then left click on Settings. left click on update and security and then again underneath the windows update page here left click on advanced options we can see that we are all set to start receiving insider preview builds which is great and then if you scroll down you actually have more options to set what kind of ring you want to be in when receiving windows updates so you could be either be in the release preview stage which is probably the safer bet it's the slowest path to updates, which is best for insiders who enjoy seeing early access to updates. For the current branch, Microsoft applications and drivers with minimal risk to their devices. So this is the safest bet. If you drag this little oval over a little bit, you can get to the slow selection, which is best for insiders who enjoy seeing preview builds with minimal risk to their devices and still want to provide feedback to make Windows devices great. And you could also go all the way over to fast, which is the highest risk for problems, which Microsoft describes as being best for insiders who enjoy being the first to identify issues, provide suggestions and ideas to make Windows devices great. So just keep that in mind. You can set it to whichever setting you want. So you can very easily change it. Just keep in mind how much risk you're willing to take when setting this because you really don't want to be on the fast ring if you're not prepared for some serious issues happening on your computer. I'm sure if you're in the Insider Preview Build program long enough, you will run into issues. So just keep that in mind. And otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this brief tutorial, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.